we think of our heart as our pump system, okay? So our heart is here. Um, Um, this is our heart. This is our pump station here. Okay, we have a major artery that comes out of the bottom of our heart. Okay, it runs right about to the belly button, give or take a little bit on each individual person, and then it splits. Okay, as it splits, it turns into our femoral arteries and runs all the way down to our toes. So if you think about it, from the heart to the toes, it's the same artery. We just got to figure out where that artery is ruptured and where it splits at. Okay, so for some reason I don't have a tourniquet. I'm yelling at people to call 911, go get me a tourniquet, go get, get me something. Okay, but this guy is bleeding out of his leg significantly. Okay, there are a few places where you can activate those arteries and get to those arteries um, with just a thumb, with just a hand, with just a little bit of mild pressure and close those arteries off. Okay, so if I approach my patient like this and he's, let's say he's bleeding right above the knee significantly, spurting blood. And I don't have a tourniquet, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in here, in between his legs. I'm going to relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. As he relaxes, okay, I'm going to move his leg out, which is going to kind of turn his leg and open up that artery uh, so I can access it with my hand. Our body is built to protect us. So if I'm standing at you, looking at you like this, I've got leg, I've got artery, and I've got bone, okay? But actually, on the inside of my leg, I can reach down in there and actually put pressure on that artery. And I'll be able to feel his pulse. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach right down in here, and I'm going to separate that thigh muscle. There we go. Separate that thigh muscle and, and try to feel. I'm going to feel a pulsation. Okay? And I'm going to put pressure right down on top of that. There we go. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put pressure on there until that bleeding stops. Okay. You're going to see all kinds of tactical gurus tell you to put your knee in it and all that, all that jazz, and that doesn't work. Okay. Um, what, what I've found that works is either two thumbs or a hand. Okay. And I'm going to take my, I can take my palm and just put as much pressure as I can down and hope that that's enough to at least slow the bleeding. Okay. And this is not a fix. This is just an adjunct until I can get a tourniquet or something significant that can actually tie off that bleeder, okay? It's gonna be hard to hold this for a long period of time, all right? But what are we buying, what are we trying to buy our patient? Time. Absolutely, time, okay? That's what we're fighting. Time and blood volume, okay? We're trying to close that container, all right? So all along the inside of this leg, we can actually reach that femoral artery, all right? And it just depends on where the bleeding is. You're gonna go above it, okay? Because if I go below it, my pump station's up here, okay? If I go below it, it's still going to be pumping out into the environment. So just remember, above it. The other place that you can try to activate, which is in the hip, so you've got a high significant bleed here, okay? Remember, the belly, at the belly button, it splits. It goes into the legs, okay? I can actually try to take my thumb and dig it down in there and try to find that artery that runs from the belly button to the leg, okay? Usually it's going to be right in here, okay? Um, and you're going to have to dig around with your thumb to try to find it. But when you find it, you're going to feel that pulse. You're going to feel a significant pulse. And all you do is put two fingers, your, your, your hand, whatever it is, and you just push, push, and, and look at the blood flow. If it slows or stops, you've done good work. Hold it there, okay? So can we turn on the lights?